Hey everybody, welcome back to Things You Should Know Accounting Edition. Today we're going to be go over in T-Accounts yet again, and we're going to give you three more examples to show you the process. The first transaction is to purchase equipment with a loan. Jello was desperate for the equipment and got a loan with Coffee's R Us. They were more than happy to oblige his need with a high interest loan. We need to analyze the transaction like I showed you in the last video. The first thing we do is the asset account is in this transaction is equipment. It'll be increased by $22,000. The liability, the offset and liability account will be the short-term loan, also increased by $22,000. Now, you'll see I marked them with letters. I'll show you later why we do this. This is just for your guys' use so you can reference things. Um, so once we've established what the accounts are that we're using and what we have to increase and decrease, we'll now need to verify the left-right rules. The left part of the rule increases to the asset account recorded on the left side of the T account, and that'll be where we record it and the right increases to the liability account occur on the right side of the T account and we record the right side for those increases. Now to give you a reminder there it is equipment that's an asset account $22,000 marked C I just marked it so you can see which ones each analysis is the short-term loan $22,000 increase that goes on the right side and that's a D with a D. Okay guys the second transaction today is to purchase supplies with cash Coffee RS was closed and Jello had to reach deep in his pockets over the weekend. $5,000, it was hard to pull that money out of his pocket. He needed to buy these supplies over the weekend. Coffee RS was not open. They could not give him a good loan. So he bought it with cash. The analysis of this would be E. And once again, we're going to mark this so we can put it on our T accounts and you can see which number goes to which analysis. The asset account this transaction is supplies. It'll be increased by $5,000. F, the other account, will also be an asset. It'll be an offset. It'll be cash, and it'll be decreased by $5,000. The left-right rule is held up. Left increases to the asset account recorded on the left side of the T account, and that's where we're going to record it. Right, the offsetting decreases to an asset account occur to the right side of the T account, and we'll record it to the right side for that. Once again, this is how this looks. Supplies, increase. It's an asset account. Increase to the left side, $5,000. Cash, we use cash to purchase it, it decreases $5,000 to the right side. Once again, for your purpose, I matched up where they were so you could see at a glance what was going on. Okay, let's do the third and final transaction today, and that is to pay down some of the loan for the equipment with extra cash. Coffee RS is always happy to accept payments, and Jello wanted to show how well his shop is doing, and he wanted to get out of a little debt. He decided to pay off $5,000 worth of debt, and we need to analyze the transaction like I showed you above. The first portion of the analysis is the asset account in this transaction is cash. We're going to be decreasing it by $5,000. We're paying off part of the loan, so we're lowering cash. In return, the other account will be the liability. It's a short-term loan, and it will also be decreased by $5,000. So you get the $5,000 on the left and $5,000 on the right. So decreases to the liability account occur on the left side of the T account. That satisfies the left portion. Decreases to the asset account, the cash in this case, are recorded to the right side of the T account. Once again, we fulfill the left right. The ending result, the ending result, if you notice, is the cash, which is an asset, five thousand dollars on the right for the decrease matches up. Short term loan, five thousand dollars is decreased. It's on the left hand side. H to H matches up. Okay, guys, to kind of give you an overall view of how this worked out. We have assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity. Record increases, record decreases on the asset left, right. Liabilities is reversed. You record decreases on the left, record increases on the right. And the same for the owner's equity. Record decreases on the left, record increases on the right. This is the all the transactions we've done with T-accounts so far. If you notice, we got the 100000 on the left. We have the match off with the owner's equity on the right. Two sets of $5,000 cash withdrawals resulted in a $5,000 decrease in a short-term loan and a $5,000 worth of supplies. And then finally, the $22,000 in equipment is recorded with an offsetting account of liabilities. You'll notice if you go through and add these all together, all the left-hand sides will add up to what the right sides equal. That's it, guys. That's the second day of T-accounts. We'll come back next time with a little bit more in T accounts and we'll try to wrap it into something a little more expansive. Um, until I see you next time, take care.